People have a lot of stereotypical views of children in care, many of their troubled kids who can't be looked after by their parents. Sometimes this may be the case, but it doesn't mean that anyone who is in the system should be labelled like this. They need to be understood, wanted and cared for. A lot of children who are in care have generally struggled with their upbringing or they are for no, no choice of their own. Whether this is to do with troubling behaviour, domestic abuse or parents struggling with taking on the role of being a parent and not being able to offer or give the support when it's needed. Children in care who display challenging behaviour can be a side effect of bad experiences such as domestic abuse or bullying. The challenging behaviour is usually a cry for help from the young person whether this be rebellious, violent or abusive behaviour, which is normally ignored by parents, especially throughout teenage years. This can have quite an impact on a young person's life, both through self-esteem and confidence if it's ignored and pushed to one side. In my experience, the care system can have its ups and downs when it comes to offering support. The right decisions aren't always made and this can affect the life of the young person. But this is also counterbalanced by the good decisions that are put into action. For some young people, more help may be needed depending on what the support the young person needs. The worker will usually assess the situation and plan what support the young person needs. This is then put into a support plan, which is made up between the worker and the young person. This is important, as for some young people it gives them the opportunity to take control of the situation and have a voice, which for some may be the first time they've been able to do this, and having a voice is the most important thing for a young person, to be able to talk about what they want, how they feel, and have an input into the decisions that are being made about their lives. A lot of people ask if care homes like the books and TV series Tracy Beaker. In my opinion there's a strong amount of fact and backing to the stories and it does show how some, if not most, of how living in care can be. There will always be one person that someone else doesn't get on with in life and this is no different in the care system. There will always be seen to be someone who is the top dog and when, when the new person comes in they can feel threatened and will assume a role of putting their authority across. There can also be a similar feeling in foster homes. Certainly in my experience, the thought of people living there already having to share what they class as their mum and dad caused issues for them. A structured, supported and stable placement is important for a young person. They need to be able to feel safe, feel they can ask for help and support if they need it, and have someone where it feels homely. Without the structure, support and stability, this causes problems with placements. This can then cause a young person to be moved out, and this causes the young person to become unsettled. If this happens, the young person will most likely find it difficult to get back into a position where they feel comfortable and stable. This stability also needs to be helped out by the social worker, support worker, alongside the workers at the home. This needs to be by regular visits to see how the young person is getting on. Generally in a care home, the young person will be allocated a support slash key worker. This gives them someone to talk to, and if this helps with the step structure, support and stability. The support worker generally supports family contacts and trips to facilitate the needs of the art and likes of the young person, e.g. football matches, concerts, etc. The support also involves in helping to get young people to move into independence. The young person will be given the opportunity to have the responsibility that is involved with living independently. Care homes generally have a semi-independence flat on site or will have connections to local places that will be able to facilitate this. Each young person will take this at a different pace, no two young people will be the same. The support will be structured to fit the young person's needs. In my experience I lived in a semi-independence placement where I had to pay bills. Though these weren't real, the money that I paid was put into a pot for when I left. No placement should set up a young person to fail. This would not help the young person and would cause them to take several steps back. Thankfully this is generally not the case as the support worker will have put a pathway plan into place. Depending on where the young person is, this may be put together by the key worker as well. A constant problem nowadays is there is a lack of housing. This causes problems throughout the chain of professionals. If a suitable placement for independence isn't found, then the council can stop payments to care homes, resulting in the young person not having suitable accommodation. This then results in many young people in places like the YMCA or in a B&B neither of which are safe places for the young person to be. So this is why we're here, C2C, to speak up for those young people in similar situations to us. We don't want them to go through some of the tough things that we went through. We want to fight for what's right and what needs to happen. Young people shouldn't need to kick up a fuss to get what they need. It should always be there, in place, ready for when they need it. So please listen to what we have to say and take on board the things that we think need to change. We want a bright future for young people in care so that they can have the same as everybody else in society and not be labelled like they are. So give them the opportunity and chances that everyone else has and don't make them feel indifferent to anyone else. Thank you for listening.